Nepal is a country with rich history, culture, and spirituality, and Hinduism as the most widely practiced religion. The Pashupatnath Temple is one of the most sacred Hindu temples in the world. It's located on the banks of the Bhagmati River in Nepal and a must visit when you are in Kathmandu. The temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva, one of the three major gods of Hinduism who is known as the Lord of Destruction and Regeneration. The temple has a rich history and is an important pilgrimage site for Hindus, with thousands of people flocking to the temple every year. The outskirts of the temple is filled with vendors selling flowers and offerings to the gods. You will also notice the resident monkey population roaming freely around the temple grounds. The Pashupatnath Temple is a sprawling complex that covers a vast area and is home to numerous smaller temples and shrines. The temple's main shrine is a two-tiered golden roof pagoda that is adorned with intricate carvings of various deities. The temple complex is a blend of traditional Nepalese and Indian architecture, with intricate wood carvings and stone sculptures adorning the walls and columns of the temple. Certain parts of the Pashupatnath temple are off-limits to non-Hindus. The temple is a place of daily worship and rituals, and Hindus can be seen offering prayers and performing various religious rituals throughout the day. You will also see many sadhus around the temple. Sadhus are holy men who have renounced worldly possessions and dedicated their lives to spiritual pursuits. They are recognizable by their distinctive appearance. They typically wear saffron robes and have long hair and beards. Many sadhus also have color and ash smeared on their faces and bodies, which is a symbol of their devotion. One of the most unique aspects of the Pashupatanath temple is that it is also the largest open cremation site in Nepal. The temple's cremation grounds are located on the banks of the Bhagmati River, and cremations take place round the clock. So please make sure you are comfortable with seeing this before visiting. Although I have heard about this before, it was still a very intense experience to face death so directly for the first time in my life. The public cremation may seem shocking at first. However, to Hindus, death is an important part of the journey of life. And the cremation ceremony is seen as a way of releasing the soul from the physical body so that it can continue on its spiritual journey. After the cremation, the ashes are released into rivers and a necessary part of the reincarnation process in Hinduism. The cremation grounds are a constant reminder of the impermanence of life and the inevitability of death. Despite the morbid overtones, there is something uniquely peaceful about the Pashupatanath temple and its surroundings. Perhaps it is the way that Hindus view death as rebirth and not the end, which gives the temple a sense of calm and serenity. The temple is a reminder that all life eventually comes to an end, and it is the one truth that we must all inevitably experience. As the sun sets, the Pashupatnath temple comes alive with the sound of bells and the chanting of mantras. The temple is filled with thousands of people who have come still witness the Aarti, the Hindu ceremony of light. This event happens every night at 7 p.m. Aarti involves the offering of light to the deities and it is a way of showing devotion and gratitude. The ceremony is performed by the temple priests and is accompanied by the singing of hymns and the beating of drums. It is truly a unique sight to behold as people are singing and celebrating on one side of the river while family mourns the deceased on the other side. Perhaps this is a perfect acknowledgement of both the impermanence of life and the beauty and wonder that can be experienced during our time on Earth. <laughs> I'm not